In today's video, we'll be providing you with the OBD2 Diagnostic Connector Fuse Location for your 2003 through 2006 Ford Expedition. We'll also show you how to test this fuse. In order to locate the fuse box, locate the passenger side front kick panel. The fuse box is located under the access panel. Remove the access panel to reveal the fuse box. Here you see the location of the fuse. It's a 20 amp fuse. The fuse box diagram component number of the fuse is shown here in the picture. If this information has helped you out, do us a huge favor and smash that like button right now and consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. Here are some of the different types of fuses this vehicle's manufacturer uses across its vehicles. In order to determine what type of fuse you have, just compare it to the different fuses we have shown here. We'll drop some links down in the description below of where you can get some replacement fuses. Next, we'll show you how to use a multimeter to test the fuse. This is how you perform a resistance test using a digital multimeter. First, set your multimeter to resistance mode. Second, after making sure your test probes are in the correct ports and verifying your tool is configured correctly, touch one of your leads to one side of the fuse and touch your other lead to the other side of the fuse. If your display shows OL or doesn't change, this means the fuse is bad. If your display shows zero or virtually zero resistance, this means your fuse is good. If you're in the market for an OBD2 scan tool, here's some capabilities to keep in mind. Number one is live data. This is the ability for the scan tool to, to display live data streams that are being reported by onboard sensors and seen by the engine computer. This is real beneficial when doing troubleshooting and any type of diagnostic work. This will allow you to see fuel trim numbers. This will allow you to see what the throttle position sensor is putting out. So numerous data parameters can be seen and that can definitely help you with troubleshooting your vehicle. Number two is data graphing. So it's not just good enough to see these uh, data streams, it'll be even better if the tool can graph them. So you can see like an O2 sensor switching. That's easier to see sometimes in a, in a graph than just seeing numbers show up. You can see how uh, fuel trim numbers are changing over time and a data graphing capability just makes it that much easier to be able to analyze the data. And lastly is bi-directional controls. This is the scan tool's ability to command certain components on and off. Let's say you're working on your fuel pump and instead of having to turn the key on and off to turn the fuel pump on, you can just use your scan tool to command the fuel pump to come on and even stay on while you take your measurements and do whatever it is you need to do. So, so those are three capabilities to be mindful of and we'll provide you our recommended scan tools down in the description below if you're interested in going to check those out. As a DIYer, when it comes to getting access to information that will assist you with servicing and maintaining your own vehicle, we recommend Mitchell One DIY. With Mitchell One DIY, you get not only access to quality in-depth wiring diagrams for your vehicle, but you also get component locations, component tests, technical bulletins, and much more. If you'd like to learn more about the service, please see the link down in the description below for more details. Once you get on the Mitchell One website, be sure to check out the free demo of everything that's included in your product subscription. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so anytime we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in any of the products we used in today's video, we'll leave some links down below. Hope you have an awesome day and thanks for watching.